Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to check out the XFC desktop of PC Linux OS. So I have already logged in into the PC, uh, PC Linux OS XFC desktop. So you got a panel on the top. There is a dock at the bottom. On the rightmost side of panel, you have got this typical application menu of XFC. Then you have got the workspace feature. You have got the network manager clipboard is there sound control microphone control and audio mixer are given this is the battery uh, manager you have got the presentation mode and the set further settings for the battery the notifications area and dnd is there then you have got this date day time and then at the rightmost uh, corner you have got the power manager on the desktop you have got trash file system and home in the dock you have got the minimize maximize uh, window button the terminal is there this is the xfc terminal the file manager is there web browser is there application finder is there and the home directory is there so what we will do is now we will focus on synaptic package manager i will not focus on the pc linux os control center that we already covered in the last video So we all covered all this in the last video. So I will not go in deep depth. What I will do is let us first check out the H top. What H top says. So the XFC is using 348 MB out of the 3 uh, 3.84 uh, gigs that is allocated to them. Total task is just 85 are running. 115 threads are running. So it is quite light desktop. Then uh, let us go ahead. In archiving, you got the GR sync uh, time shift and the X archiver. So here the arc is not there. They are given the X archiver. So now what I will do is uh, I will switch this off and we will check out this configuration. So this is the uh, PC Linux OS control center. So we will not go again here. What we will do is uh, we will go uh, ahead in editors you got mousepad mousepad root in file uh, tools you got application finder blitzbit is there catfish file search is given dd copy that we have seen earlier g parted is there you can make a live usb using the my live usb version 4 thunar file manager is there so it must be version 4.16 only okay so it is even higher it is 4.17 so that's very good of pc linux OS because in most of the linux distros the version of the pc uh, this xfc is around 4.16 but here it is one higher that is 4.17 so they are using the latest packages then in games the solitaire is there graphics you got gim risk reto image viewer and the screen uh, shooter is there which is a screen uh, screenshot taker internet section any desk filezilla Fire, uh, firefox browser gigolo megasync uh, cloud storage nitro share thunderbird email and zoom is there in office you got the dictionary gu character map and the libreoffice suite is there with version 7.3 in the software center, you have got the LibreOffice manager. Then localization manager, synaptic package manager, and virtual box manager. Here you can see the icon used for the LibreOffice manager is uh, from the this uh, which office was that? I think open office. Yes, it is the icon from the open office. So that's. Uh, interesting and puzzling also why it is using the icon from the uh, open office in sound you have got the payroll media player pithos is there pulse audio volume control is there spotify is there video downloader is there and the vlc media player is there in the video section you have got the handbrake payroll media player video downloader is there and the vlc media player is there and in the about xfc section let us check out so the xfc version is 4.16 only but few of the apps are with version 4.17 and above now uh, xfc desktop is getting a big update uh, sometime uh, 
after december so most of the operating uh, systems uh, or the linux distros will get the update after march only so we are expecting a version 4.18 to be released after december now in this uh, video let us check out the wallpapers so this is the desktop settings so you have got this accept uh, the wallpapers are there in addition to the single pc linux os uh, default wallpaper so you can set the accept wallpapers or you can add uh, more wallpapers also now what i will do is let us check out the synaptic package manager it is a great tool graphical tool to uh, install uninstall and manage your packages that are uh, installed on the system for example what we will do is we will try to install something uh, some package so first let us uh, check out the gui section so you got this file in file you have this uh, mark reading save readings mark uh, save markings as generate package download script history and quit in edit section you can add your cd rom which will uh, provide you some more packages for installation you can mark all upgrades you can fix even broken packages suppose there are some missing dependencies or the packages are broken you can uh, you, uh, fix it using this broken uh, fix broken packages link you can undo redo your actions you can unmark any selected packages so if you change your mind if you don't want to in, uh, install the selected packages you can unmark them all and then it will reverse uh, your decision you can search for packages you can reload package information in the package you can unmark mark for installation mark for reinstallation mark for upgrade mark for removal you can even lock the version of the packages you can force version changes properties preferences repositories filters set internal options toolbar about icon legend quick introduction contents so what we will do is now i will show you how to do the upgrade of the system using the synaptic manager yes you can do the complete upgrade of your system using synaptic package manager what you have to do is you have to just mark all the upgrades the system will automatically search for the available upgrades to all the packages that are installed on your system and if all the packages are uh, once uh, marked for upgrade you can then click on the apply button so that will uh, update or upgrade all the packages that are selected for upgrade and you can also reload so this reloadation what will happen is the system repos will sync with the server repos and you will get the latest uh, situation that is the latest packages that are available all everything will be shown here now what once you are done the reload what you have to do is you have to mark all the upgrades let us see so here you can see some packages are to be removed so you can just safely remove all those packages so i will not do right now but you can do it like this only it works and you can go through the contents the which contains the help how to use the synaptic package manager for example let us try to install something say i want to install say any font i want to install so you have to just search for fonts it will show you all the fonts that are available including the packages related to font like the font manager font matrix even you can do the font uh, developer packages so this is font packages dev so this is the de developer packages for the font font file system all everything related to font will be available so you can just uh, select so if you want to install the japanese fonts you can directly install the japanese fonts you can install the different ttf fonts so it is very easy now let us try to find the dragon player so the dragon player is not available but in most of the linux distros it is available so let us search for the vlc media player so here you can see the uh, vlc media player is already installed
so no need of uh, doing anything but you can of course install the vlc uh, docs so then once you selected the vlc docs you have to apply so it will show you that vlc doc will be applied that's it we can go for say let us see if the free cad is available no free cad is not available or we install say open office let us see if open office is uh, there libre office is there open office is yes it is there you can see here so what i will do is i will try to install and show you how to install the open office so the open office is there paul open office o build builder so i think this is a builder document it is not the actual uh, open office so let us try to search for the only office let us see if it is available in the yes so here we can uh, install only the desktop editor so the complete uh, suite is not available only the desktop editors are there so we can install this now once you have selected this you have to just install so here you can see it will install the only office desktop editors 545 packages will be held back and not upgraded one new package will be installed and 470 457 mb of extra space will be used 450 mb to be downloaded so you have to say yes it will download the only office uh, desktop editors and then we will uh, do a upgrade also so once you install this you have to again reload the synaptic package manager and then you have to do the upgrade system upgrade so system upgrade is also available right now meanwhile what we do is we go to the configuration let us open the settings manager so the settings manager for xfc is also there so there you open the display and then you change the resolution of the now it is okay so now the system is uh, applying the changes so once this is completed the synaptic package manager will again be ready to install the next uh, application now it is showing that this only office desktop editors desktop editors is installed so there is a green tick or the green color in the tick box now what we have to do is we have to just reload the system again that is the synaptic package manager will get updated because the repos in the background will get selected now you have to mark all the upgrades so here you, you see it is it is going to i think update the kernel also where was i just saw the kernel uh, okay so the kernel firmware is going to get updated and there was this hp lip that is also going to get updated hp lip is the software for the uh, hp printers and scanners so you have to just mark all those packages and then you have to click on apply so here you can see the following packages are going to get updated the following packages are going to get removed and following it is to be installed so these packages are going to be installed additionally so 31 new packages will be installed 544 packages to be upgraded six packages to be removed 167 mb of extra space to be used and 1.2 uh, gb has to be downloaded so you can further specify download package files only so that will not uh, download the additional packages like the uh, documentation files that is the doc files and other supporting files only the package main package will be downloaded and you can verify the package signatures so that is a good way to ensure the system integrity and safety so now you have to just apply so i will not uh, select the first option i will just select the verify uh, package signatures and then 
go for the system upgrade and you can check out the progress of single files it's quite fast So there are some extra output generated during the package manager operation. Okay. So the system has taken care of the extra uh, messages that were generated the dkms nvidia 470 uh, driver files were automatically removed to satisfy the dependencies that's good because anyway we are doing it in virtual machine but it might be a problem if you are having a nvidia card but right now for this uh, review purpose it's good enough that's not an issue with me now if you select any package you can see the description of the package here and these are the data common data for the package status of the package maintainer priority of the package section of the package to which it belongs and the installed version and the latest available package version these are the dependencies for the package and the, these are the versions of the package that are available in the rep repos and you can force any package version to be installed so using synaptic package man management uh, is or package manager is a very good uh, experience and you can learn lot of uh, lot more about the different packages that are available in the repos and you can learn also uh, the dependencies each package has so you get a overall very good view of the linux uh, based system as well as the linux applications so with this i will stop the video here See you in the next video. Bye.